Hey, Smile Tribe. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've been live. And um, I'm going to give y'all Android energy because I'm on my laptop. So y'all forgive me, Androids. If you get offended, take it to the Lord in prayer. Um, I got to pick on y'all every once in a while. So yeah, I'm on my laptop because we're about to do a twisted marathon. Okay. Now, the goal is maybe I'll try to be live two hours. We'll see how that goes, how the spirit flowing. I don't like how those bosses are right there because I moved them thinking that that one would be in the camera, but they're still there. I don't like that setup. I don't like, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like the boxes showing. Okay. I don't like the boxes showing. <clears throat> All right, is that better? Now, hopefully, I won't see it. Hopefully, I won't see it um, that bad. So, well, and I got this in here. Y'all forgive me. Y'all forgive me. See, I supposed to have my life together. I did not got my life together. Okay. Well, this is good as the background gonna get. So, take it. We we in the Smiles Tribe. This is the Smiles Tribe Studio. Let's just be real, okay, Lisa. Let's just be real. This is the Smiles Tribe Studio for YouTube. This is the warehouse for the glow butters, and this is the training grounds. Okay, this is the Lisa Smiles headquarters. Okay, the original headquarters that's gonna eventually grow. So yeah. Oh. I've been up here running my mouth, so let me introduce myself. If you watch me for the first time, my name is Lisa Smiles, as you can see on the YouTube channel. And here on my channel, I use the gift of doing your hair and making you laugh so God can reach your soul. So on this channel, we talk about God, we get out your hair together, and we kiki and we laugh. So if any of those things interest you, be sure to subscribe if the spirit moves you, okay? So don't be a stranger don't be a stranger feel free to subscribe now i feel like i need some lotion on my hands so yeah that's what we're doing this channel and so on this one this is gonna be a twisted marathon now i did one before and it was six hours now i do not plan to be up here no six hours this time i'm telling y'all i'm not gonna do it no we're not doing six hours this time we're not um but i did some super super mini twists um and like I said at the beginning, my intention is to only make this, um, I want to say three hours max, but we'll see how the spirit goes. It might be an hour. It might be two hours. We're going to see. But the size twist I'm going to do is going to be kind of medium, like medium to small. So I'm going to try not to make them too small because I actually only want to keep these for maybe... I might keep them for two weeks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because I, I kind of want to get my hair recolored. So I was thinking about either recoloring my hair either the end of this. Or no, maybe I'll do it in June. I, I kind of want to do it closer to my birthday so the color can be fresh. So maybe I'll keep these twists for a month. So we're going to see how the spirit moves. All right. So um, let's get started. Now, last night I had um, last night I had put my hair in. I shampooed my hair last night, and I didn't blow dry it. I was gonna blow dry it, but I shampooed my hair like super super late last night. So I just throw some leave-in conditioner on my hair, and I use I use the honey almond leave-in conditioner, and then I also put this on the moisture lock. And I just did some plaques. As y'all can see, I got my little Sealy plaques going on. Turn on. Okay. I got my Sealy plaques going on. So I'm about to um, un unbraid these and see what I have going on. And I bought my other mirror in here so I can kind of see how to part the back of my hair. Some of y'all done kind of seen how that go down. Some of y'all done kind of seen. Okay. I had to listen to my playback, make sure my sound was right. Okay, and I got me another little mirror right here. So what I'm going to do is, I think this time, I'm going to start in the front of my hair instead of starting in the back. 
Um, yeah, because my uh my energy levels, I want to start in the front where my energy levels are high. <laughs> hey Nina, thank you for joining this live stream. I hope everyone had a beautiful Mother's Day. Yes, they, if you are a mom, happy belated Mother's Day. I hope your Mother's Day was um, beautiful. I hope it was relaxing. And this is one thing I noticed about a lot of moms on Mother's Day. Y'all just be wanting to chill. Like, y'all just be wanting to chill. Y'all don't want, like, y'all don't want people ask you to do stuff. Y'all just be wanting to relax. And so um, I noticed that was with my mom and my sister and my other friends that was just wanting to relax on Mother's Day. And there's nothing wrong with that because I know it, even though I'm not a mom, I do see as moms, y'all are always on the go and somebody is always calling you and ask you for something and doing something. So um, a lot of moms just found joy. And this would have been a cute breakout. A lot of moms just find it joy and just not doing nothing on Mother's Day. So I can appreciate that. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yes, I ain't seen the wild, Nina. Well, yes, I have. Remember, I did see a live stream recently. So I'm taking these braids out. And yeah, as y'all can see by the title of this, um, we're going to just learn. So if y'all have questions while I'm doing this live stream, feel free to drop your questions in the chat. Feel free to share this live stream because I feel like this is going to be another good live stream. And uh, we're going to laugh and we can get inspired, okay? We can get inspired. But I guess I can start off by saying how my weekend was. I had a really beautiful weekend, surprisingly. Like, I had a really good weekend. I um I went and seen my friend. We hung out and did like a little girl's little thing. I went, I went to go see the center. So that was nice. I hung out with her and we had a really good time. And then I went to go see my sister. For Mother's Day and my mom. And so um that was really nice too. And my mom, she decided to um, I asked her what she wanted to do for Mother's Day. She didn't really, she um she had the idea of ordering takeout and just, and then just going to a park to eat, which I thought was a good idea because we already know on Mother's Day. Going out to eat, it's just like a lot of people. It's a lot of hustle and bustle. And then you feel rushed because you can't really sit there and enjoy your family because, well, I know me when I was a server and I used to work on the holidays. I used to hate like when people would haul the tables the whole time and we got like a line of people waiting. So you kind of want people to eat and go. But also at the same time, you know, people's enjoying their family. But me coming from being a server, I'd be like, man, can y'all eat y'all food and go? Because I'm trying to make some money. So, um, yeah, we just decided this year just to order takeout, which was something different. And my mom, we went to like a nice park and we ate um, lunch together with my mom and my dad. And so that was really nice. And then the weather was like so nice yesterday. Like it was so beautiful. And then we had went to this park that I didn't even know it existed in Winston-Salem. I think my mama said it's more like a newer park. Like it just got there like maybe five years ago. But the views, I'm going to post a reel, but the views from the park was like, like absolutely gorgeous. Like it was really, really beautiful. So we had a really good time, like just, just hanging out, talking, catching the breeze. So it was, it was really good. And then we went and got ice cream afterwards sitting there and talk so yeah i had a really good weekend i did i had a really really good weekend so i hope y'all weekends was great as well and if it wasn't hey today is a new day today is a new day to make it a great day i remember i used to work at um wells fargo and i used to be a um loan processor and so look at this hair and i remember the little key when, with us answering the phones, they used to say, they didn't want us to say, have a great day. They told us to say, like, when we got the phone, to make it a great day. And that has, and that's one thing that has always 
like stuck with me. Let me play my little. That was um. That was one thing that has always stuck with me, even to this day. Um, is that it was intentional to say. That was intentional, so intentional, and it made us say, "Make it a great day." And I thought about it, and I was just like, "That's true." Like, you can make it a great day. Now, y'all see them grays right there? They ain't natural. This gray hair. Um. But yeah, that always has stuck with me, and I really sat there and thought about it. I'm like, yeah, you don't have to um have a bad day. You can make it a great day. You, like, meaning you're going to choose joy. You're going to choose happiness, you know, over what might be going on. Like, the situation can be, like, terrible. But you know what? In this moment, in this day, I'm going to choose to have a make it. I'm going to make it a great day. So making a great day can mean putting on some music and then dancing. Making a great day can be, you know, putting on praise and worship music. It could mean maybe going to the park after work if they stressed you out. It could mean... I'm going to go get a sweet treat, you know, do whatever you have to do. It could mean having a self-care day when you get home, maybe, like maybe running you a bubble bath, running you a bubble bath and taking you a bubble bath. So we have the power to make it a great day. We don't have to. Is that part straight? Can y'all see that? Is that straight? Okay, I think it's straight. <laughs> um, But yeah. So, yeah, we have the power of it. You know what? I'm actually going to pull up my other mirror. Because I really need to see my hair. So, I'm going to pull this right here. And then here's my mirror. I'll pull out my room. Yeah. So, let me see if I can see the back of my hair. Oh, I did good. We're making that part straight. I mean, yeah, I did. I, that's decent for that, for that part. Okay. So now I'm about to do this side. Okay, Nina said, that's so nice. I think your mother idea of takeout in the park was a great idea. It really was. And it's funny because we order um, takeout from Firebirds. And so I went to go pick up the food, but I noticed when I went to go pick up the food, I was expecting for, I did curbside pickup. I was expecting for it to be um, like a line and people waiting outside the door. Like, and when I pulled up, it wasn't hollering like nobody waiting. Like in the parking lot to me looked kind of empty. And I was sitting there thinking, well, maybe we could have sat inside because there's like nobody in there. So when the girl came out and gave up, gave me my food, the center, I'm on FaceTime. I mean, I'm on shh, the center FaceTiming me. I'm on live. I'm on live. Oh, she probably just, just got off work. Oh, she ready to kiki. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, what was I saying? So, yeah, when I went to go pick up the food, like, it, you know, it wasn't hot nobody there. I was thinking, like, maybe we could have sat here. So when a lady came out and brought my food, I said, y'all not busy for Mother's Day. And she said, well, um, the thing is, I didn't know this. She said, people be making reservations to eat at Firebirds, like, two to three months in advance before Mother's Day. But she said what had happened was the people who made the reservations been canceling and not showing up. So she said, that's why they don't look as busy right now. But she said, um... They're going to be busy for the rest of the night. They still got reservation for the rest of the night. Because I was like, well, man, maybe me and my mom could have came in and sat down. But she said, no, nah, I'm pretty sure for the rest of the night it's about to be busy. But I didn't know that, that people be making their reservations up to two to three months in advance for Firebirds. I mean, Firebirds is good. But I didn't know, like, people go that far in advance for Mother's Day. Like, I can see, like, maybe a week or two in advance. But, like. She said people made these reservations like two months ago. Yeah, the sense I just texted you. I said the sense of FaceTime and me. I'm on live. <laughs> but um, but yeah. I gotta take out this braid. So yeah, since I'm about to twist my hair. 
But I'm going to try not to make it all, all night now. So, yeah. Anyway, getting back to what Nina was saying, the takeout idea that was a good idea. It really was because we were able to enjoy ourselves. We, we didn't have to rush because we were thinking about somebody else needed the table. And then the weather was beautiful, so it was nice. And then, like, the park we went to, <laughs> it was – the views were beautiful. I think the name of the park is called – if you're in Winston, and they can go ahead and send me a check because I'm about to get them free promo. Uh, the name of the park is the Quarry at Grant Park. It was really nice. Yeah, the Quarry at Grant Park. Really beautiful. She said, I was I was so mad you didn't pick up. <laughs> and I had look, the sense I had just said on the live stream. I said the sensor probably just got work and she ready to run that mouth. Ready to run that mouth, honey. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. And the little um walkway thing to go up to the Cedar Quarry, it was like up really, really high. And on the um railings, they had locks. So you know, I think it's like a wall. I don't know if it's in Paris or where it's at, but um, it's a wall that people go to, and y'all probably have heard of it, where people go to and they um they put like a lot like locks, you know, like a combination lock or a key lock. They put, they put a lock on the railing. And I guess people write like their initials or promises or something. But it was a lot of locks up there. But it was almost kind of scary because you could see all the way down to the grass. Like, like you could, it was like a little, like little metal see-through thing. And you could see all the way down to the grass. I'm like, this is kind of low-key scary because you was up high. Like, you up really, really high. I got to show y'all. Hold on. I got to show you. Can I show y'all a picture? So, here's a little walkway going up into it. You see it? So, it was up real high. And said so all that right there, all that right there was like, like little metal things that you can see through it to the ground. It, it, was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It looked like the love locks they do in Paris and Vegas. Oh, okay. So I knew they did it somewhere. I, I wasn't sure if it was Paris or not, but they're doing it in Vegas too. Yeah. And I seen people um had their initials on on some of the locks. Like some people had wrote their um initials on. And then some people had wrote it. Somebody had wrote. On the lock, I mean, on the railing, talking about the drunk crew was here and put the date. It said like March 25th, 2023. I said, oh, okay, somebody, I'm like, y'all better be careful getting drunk and then going up there. Somebody be like, got pushed over. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this part right. What about part it right here, right here above the ear? Hold on, y'all. I don't know why I had to be quiet when I'm part, but I just have to. Everybody calm down. Don't nobody panic, okay? Y'all give me one second. Let me get this part together. Oh, man. I still keep parting it wrong. Now, if I wasn't on live, I would have been able to part it by now. Okay, I think that's right now. And I'm definitely going to start in the front this time because see the front, the front part of your head, that's where your head is the biggest. That's where you got that dome. Mm, that's going to be good enough for me today. Okay, that's good enough. So what the other hair bone? So I got me some satin scrunchies that I'm putting on to hold my hair. And y'all remember to use satin scrunchies on y'all hair. Y'all stop using those, um, stop using those scrunchies that, um, take your hair out. And what I mean is, like, stop doing a whole lot of these when you wear ponytails. Because they kind of pull your hair out. If you can use the satin ones, use the satin ones, okay? Don't say Lil' Lisa ain't tell you. So now I'm, I'm just parting my hair into four sections, that's all. Taking out, I'm going to take out these two dookie braids. Since as you can see, I don't wash my uh hair. Girl, I couldn't wait to get home and wash my hair. 
Honestly, it looked like something from Seattle. It was so beautiful. Yes, it did. Like, and that's why I was just so shocked. And even from the um out the overlook, um, you could see downtown Winston Salem. So you could see like the buildings like from downtown Winston Salem. I was like, wow, this is actually kind of cool. And then um, my mama, we had ended up doing some research while we was out there. So we ended up Googling the park. And um, they said they got several, um, several, uh, what do they call them? Outlooks or overlooks. But we had only seen one. That's one where everybody was at. And um, it was people out there releasing boot, like, because it was Mother's Day. I had ran into somebody who I knew from high school and her mom passed away. She was out there releasing balloons to her mom. It was a vibe out there. It was nice. Honest, okay. They have they have high cliffs like that. Oh, in Seattle? Okay. I forgot you've been to Seattle before. I haven't been to Seattle. Does it it rain a lot in Seattle, don't it? If I'm not mistaken, or is it just certain seasons that it rain a lot? Okay. I have to part this down. I hope I'm parting it straight. We got to find out though. Oh, look, I was about to use this. I'm about to use a sad one. Can y'all hear my jazz music that I got playing? I got it real, real low because I ain't want to sit in this house in silence when I'm twisting my hair. And I ain't want you to um, copyright my video because we're trying to get these out with these watch hours in. All right, is that straight enough? Um, let me clean it up just a little bit and then we're going to be ready. Dang, now my sister calling me. Everybody calling me. Now, see, y'all, my phone be dry. Don't let these people, don't, don't let these people fool y'all. My phone be dry. Hey, I'm on live right now. I'm telling you, don't nobody call me to, to, until I get ready to do something. People be thinking I be having over here popping. I, I was off today from work, so I've been over here doing some stuff. I've been getting my towels ready for work tomorrow and doing some stuff for the business. And phone been dry all day. My phone just ain't getting ready to pop off. Well, ain't nobody been calling me all day. Now when I get ready to do something productive, well, I was doing something productive all day. I'm doing something here online. Everybody want to call me. It's okay. Y'all probably got off work. Everybody read, everybody read Kiki and talk to Lisa. That's what that is. Everybody read Kiki. Ain't nothing wrong there. Y'all come on this live stream, Kiki. Jesus, prayers for your high school friend. Yeah. But you know what was really beautiful, though? Um, so the friend who I ran into, um, is that straight enough? That's gonna be that's gonna have, that's gonna have to work. I ain't about to fix that no more. So the friend who I ran into who I went to high school with, funny, funny thing is, um, she actually worked, she actually used to work with my mama. So my mom's retired now. And at the facility my mom worked at, um, because the girl, she she's around my age, right? She used to work in the kitchen where at the facility my mom used to work at. Look, I'm I'm just telling their business, look. But it's 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 good. It's inspirational. But um, since her mom passed, you know, she's seen my mom as a mother figure, and so a lot. It, she was just telling the story. She said, "I just love your mama so much." She said, "I used to have bad days at work, and your mama would come over there and be like, come on, you know, you got to keep it together. You know, you got that daughter.' And like, I used to be so upset, and she just really used to just keep me grounded. She was just like my mom, and da da da. And it was just so nice." Um, the girl don't work there no more. She got another job, and now my mom done retired from there. But it was just, be, it, it was funny because we were standing at the park, and I was like, "That girl looked familiar." And I kept looking and staring at the girl. And so when she came up, 
I said, I think I know you. You look familiar. And it was so funny. She knew me. She was like, hey, Lisa. And she walked right past me, gave my mama a hug. Like, let me bow past you. She said, hey, Miss Mickle. I'm like, well, dang. She was just like, hey, Lisa. And just pushed me to the side and got into my mama. And I was just like, that was so funny. But it also was really, really cute because um, she was just telling me how much of a blessing that my mom had been to her like over the years when she was working there with her and just in, inspiring her. And so she was, she was there at the part to release booms to her mom. I said, now look, mom, everything happened for a reason. I said, um, it, look how we decided to come to this part. And then you ran into one of your old coworkers who lost her mom and you happened to see her on mother's day. And the, and the girl was there to release balloons to her, her um, deceased mom. I said, see, God works everything out. Now, I don't know how that girl was feeling or not. I don't know if maybe she felt like a little anxious because she was going there to release balloons on Mother's Day. But it's like God always looks out for us. And he always have a ram in the bush. And me and my mom was just talking about that, like how that was a blessing that it just so happened that she hadn't seen my mom in a couple of years. And when they do run it back into each other, it's on Mother's Day. I said, now that that's now you now you tell me that ain't a God. You tell me that ain't a God. See, God, oh my God. See, I'm about to start preaching. I'm about to get deep. I'm about to get deep. God always looks out for us. He God cares. That goes back to, to the verse I read this weekend. Cast all your cares upon the Lord because he cares. So God knew what that young lady had to go through that day on Mother's Day. And he said, look, I'm going to look out for you. I'm going I'm to divinely orchestrate you running into Miss Mickle on Mother's Day. And originally, we were supposed to um get to that park at a different time. But because my parents got out of church a little bit later... And then I had to switch restaurants where we did takeout and it was like a hold up. But no, all that delay was for a reason. So we could run into that lady. So she can be encouraged and not be sad on Mother's Day. And she said, this has made my day so much. I said, now see, God is good. He can't. So that go, that's just a testimony, y'all, that God cares about what you're going through. It don't matter what you're going through. God cares. If you want to have thick hair, God cares about that. If you want to have a baby, if you want to get married, God cares. Cast your cares upon him, upon him. Come on, somebody. Come on. Get the word. Get the word. Get the word. Okay, y'all. So all I did, I then sectioned my hair off and I put the moisture lock on it again because it felt a little dry. So now I'm about to start twisting. Lord, I done spent, I feel like a whole 30 minutes running my mouth and parting. Now, I said three hours. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can be done before 8 o'clock. All right, Lisa, if you speak it, you already know it's done. Um, the center said people don't understand how happy and sad mothers they can be for others. Oh, yes. And me and my mama was talking about that, too. She was just like, she stopped saying Happy Mother's Day to every woman. So um, I had went and, and got a mother. Y'all, I'm so ghetto. I'm so last minute. I ain't going to get my mama a Mother's Day card until that morning. I had went to Publix, right? And so I was in there getting a Mother's Day card. And guess what? It wasn't nothing but men over there. I said, look at us. Been all last minute getting Mother's Day cards. So I had to get my sister Mother's Day card and my mama Mother's Day card, right? So it was nothing but men over there. It was a few women, but I was pretty much the only one over there that was a woman. So I'm picking up my Mother's Day card, and the guy who was beside me, he was trying to find him a Mother's Day card. And so he found him Mother's Day card, and he was just like, "All right, I found what I need." He said, "Well, you have a, you have a happy Mother's Day," and I just said. I just said thank you. I ain't even try to correct him or nothing like that. But that used to offend me, but they don't even offend me no no more because I know I'm a mother. Like I the child ain't came yet, but I already know I'm a mother. Like God already showed me that I'm a mother. So now it don't really offend me. But I think before when I used to be so discouraged about 
like my age, like, oh my gosh, I'm getting older, I haven't had kids. Yes, I used to be so discouraged, but now, you know, I don't get offended about it no more. But I remember in the past, even when I, you know, had that abortion, y'all know I'm talking about where you terminate the pregnancy. Um, that used to make me sad when people used to say happy Mother's Day because I'm thinking about, you know, that procedure I had done. And so, um, and like how I'm not a mother or I was supposed to be a mother and now I'm not. But um, I've been set free and delivered from that. So I'm not really sad about Mother's Day. But that goes back to the topic me and my mom was talking about. And she was like, you know, I stopped saying that to just random women unless I know for sure. Because she said one time um, it was a lady and she used to she used to just like be telling people Happy Mother's Day. Right. And um, she ran to this lady and I think she had told her Happy Mother's Day. And the lady had said something about um, I don't know if the lady had like a miscarriage or either she couldn't get pregnant. It was some kind of story where she came back and I think said to my mom or somebody like, um, I don't, I'm not a mother and I don't like when you say that, like I get offended or I, I'm offended when people tell me that. And, um, and my mama said, ever since like that, she heard a lady say that she just stopped saying it to people unless she visibly see that they're a mother. So she know that for sure, because you don't know people's situation and story and how that really can be triggering. I didn't like say it was triggering to her. I can't remember what happened with the lady's situation, but it was triggering. But, um, I can see that because, you know, that was that was me at one point, like just thinking about my situation, like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really get offended now because people don't know, but I don't really get offended anymore. Like when people mistakenly say, oh, happy Mother's Day. I just smile and just, you know, just going about my business. But we do have to be careful with that. Um just with telling people happy mother's day if you really don't know because that could be somebody who's trying to have a baby and they're not able to conceive for whatever reason or they might be delayed and that could be triggering to them because it can al almost feel like it's a slap in the face like wow they say happy mother's day and i can't even have kids right now or just whatever the situation might be so i'm sorry to say we just have to um just be careful with things when it comes to things like that. Um, but yeah, but you know, and I said a prayer, you know, for all the mothers I've been praying for, you know, all the mothers or even those who might have lost them all my weekend that God would give them the strength because, you know, for my mom to still be here on earth, my mom is going, y'all, my mom about to be 70 years old. I'm like, what in the world? Like, I don't know why I still be thinking my mama like 60 or 55. Like, ciao. But anyway, um, I was just like, it's a blessing. Like, even though my mama get on my nerves sometimes, like everybody mama do. And even though me and my mama have disagreements and stuff, you know, from time to time, that, that's just life. But also, I'm also grateful that she's still here. So, yeah. So I went down a whole rabbit hole about the Mother's Day. Okay, pick up. Hi, sister. She probably mad. You pick up too. I know, right? The less she text me back. Oh, sorry. I had a business problem. Wanted to talk to you about it. Oh, she got a business problem. Well, I'm gonna see if she can text it to me. Can you text it? If y'all don't know, my sister, she's a, uh, my sister, she's a, uh, she's a makeup artist too. So if you're in the Winston Salem area, go ahead and book your appointment with my sister. Send her a check. She does really good makeup too, and I ain't just capping because that's my twin. Like she really does really good makeup, like for real, for real. Okay, y'all. Oh, Vernell is in the building. Hey, Vernell, what Vernell say? That is good all day long. Hey, everybody. Hey, Vernell. <laughs> hey, Acacia. Thank you for joining Acacia. Acacia, come in, servant. 
Acacia said, greetings. Six watching and only three lights. Glad glide on over to the hit the light button. Acacia don't be playing. She said, one thing y'all are going to do is y'all not going to come in here and sit here and watch and not press that light button. Tell them, Acacia. Tell them, Acacia. Okay. Three hours. Well, the sense of... Let's see if we can be done by 7.30 because I, I want to see if I can get a walk in. I should have gone a walk before I did this, but hey, I had stuff to do today. Okay. Life was life in today. Um, I did the same thing the morning of. Oh, we ain't got your Mother's Day card, Acacia. <laughs> was it a lot of dudes there, Acacia? Or was it just um was it just a mixture of both? Now, last time I braided the roots first and then I twisted them because that's what made it take so long. This time, I'm only going to braid the roots of the first two rows so it can look fresh. And I'm going to just regular two-strand twist the rest because that, that takes up time. That's what took it six hours last time. And then I did them super many. Like, I know these look small, but I'm trust me, they're not going to be like, they're not like that small, small. So don't trip, y'all. Don't trip. Everybody calm down. I don't want nobody to panic, okay? And if you wonder what I'm twisting with, I'm twisting with dun, 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 Marie's Legacy. Marie's Legacy, okay? And that will be dropping July of this year, uh, 2023. Okay, we have us a whole little she and dig having us a little party. Okay. Hey, Karen, thank you so much for joining. Okay. Uh, Renelle said delayed, but not denied. God is a own, God is an on time God. He, it, he really is. He might not come when you want him, but he'll come right on time. You hear me? I, we used to sing that song growing up in church. I'm like, what they mean? He might not come when you want him. I want him right now. We have to come right on time. Because, see, we be thinking that, God, we need it right now. And God's like, no, 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 you don't. You can wait. You can wait a little while longer, sister. You can wait a little while longer. Okay. Hey, Mimi, thank you so much for joining. Mimi said, I asked people if they have fur babies, plant babies, or real babies, then I wish them a happy Mother's Day. Most of the time, people laugh about it. <laughs> if you're a nurturer, you're a mother, in my opinion. You're right. You you really are. Thank you for saying it, Mimi. You really are. You really are a nurturer, because I know me. I'm a, I'm a plant mama. But I feel like every woman, whether you birth kids or not, all women, I feel like, are nurturers. That's, I mean... That's that's how God created us. That, that truly is how God created. It's in our nature. It's in our nature. Um, it's interesting. I think every man-made holiday bothers me, but if that's a whole conversation, but that's a whole conversation with another day. Yeah, it is. And I do feel like, especially when it comes to, um, like, with the marketing, like, in the media. No, we can have that conversation right now since, because we're about to be up here. Um, I do feel like, especially when it comes to, like, marketing and media, they really, you know, try to get a lot of people to spend all this money. And it's like, we can do this stuff any other day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can you don't have to wait till Mother's Day to honor your mother. Like, you can do that any day. You know, you know what I'm saying? Whenever God lay in your heart, you can go by your mom's house and do this and do that. And it's just like the same thing for Christmas. Like, when people be having, like, these Thanksgiving drives and stuff for the homeless and stuff, like, why wait to Thanksgiving to do something nice or Christmas to do something nice for less fortunate? Like, it's 365 days in a year. It is. So we, we don't have to wait to that holiday to do something for somebody. And I think the media or just this society in general, it hypes it up so much. And people be over here going into debt trying to get people gifts. They really do. 
and and don't do nothing or don't talk to him any of the other year except for on that on that day. So I do feel like it's a lot of hype sometimes put into it, more into it than it needs to be sometimes. And it makes it like not even it makes it like stressful, like and it don't it don't need to be that way. It really don't. Okay, we're moving right along. Okay, Acacia said yes, everyone moms get on their nerves. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Acacia. Everybody mom get on their nerves. <laughs> Woo! You be having to leave your mom at the cross sometime. <laughs> you really do. And I know they think the same thing about their kids. Like, oh, they get on my nerves. I know, I know, mom. I know. I know, child. But yeah. I agree, Mimi. Yep. Okay, she said, what's her name or business name so we can drop it in the chat? What's who name or business name? I don't know who we're talking about. I forgot. But you know the chat is at a delay. Well, I'm looking at the chat at a delay. What's her name or business name? I have no idea who she's talking about. Okay, she can you um remind me in the chat? Yes, everyone, mom, Acacia, what's the style you doing? Mini twist. Yeah, I'm doing mini twist, Acacia. Yep, I'm doing some mini twists. And like I was saying, I'm not going to um, braid the roots of all of them because that's going to take a lot of time. And, I'm, and I know they look small on camera right here, but trust me, they're not as many as the ones that I did back in, um, was it back in March when I was up here for six hours? They're not that many. So that's why I said I'm going to try to be up here less than three hours today. Less. And guess what? If you have to go, it's okay. Like, you don't have to sit here and look me in my face the whole time. But if you just need some com com uh, company and you got walking or you got dishes to do, you can watch me and get some hair tips. And I'm up here, so if y'all got hair questions, go ahead and ask away. Vernell said, um... Every woman is a mother because it comes from, because it comes natural. You have the nurturing instincts. This is this is part of your nature. Even if you don't have your own kids naturally, it is higher when you have your own. I agree, Vernell. I, I totally agree. I do. I agree with you. Vernell, do, are you a mom? Yeah. I said I want twins, y'all. I do. I want twins like my sister had twins, but I don't know. I don't think I'm aware of what I'm asking for. Because I, I see my sister had them twins. And it wasn't easy. <laughs> it wasn't easy. But them twins fine. They okay. But see, I'm look, I'm trying to tell God how I want to have my kids. I'm like, God, okay, if I have twins, they need to be the first time I get pregnant, and then that's going to be it. And then whatever we get, we're going to get. And then my I'm going to tell my husband, don't ask me for nothing else. Okay, so if we get two boys, that's what we got. If we get two girls, that's what we got. If we get a brunt, that's what we got. But you see how we try to be telling God what, what, what we want to do? That's just a little fan. That's just a little fantasy that be in my head. So y'all let me live. Just, just let me think that. Even though it might not turn out that way, just, just let me think that. Okay, just let me think that. See, I was about to split that into two. Yeah, I'm gonna split it into two. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right. Acacia said it was a lot of men. A few looking. Okay. Now look at Acacia. Acacia said it was a lot of men. A few was looking right and smelling good. The rest was just, yeah, running in and out. <laughs> that, Acacia, was that looking and smelling good, Acacia? Was that looking and smelling good, Acacia? Occasionally, I know you was in there speaking too. I know you was just like, hi, hi. <laughs> Occasionally, was you helping them pick out their Mother's Day card? I feel in my spirit, Acacia was probably in there helping them pick out their Mother's Day card. Look at now, Acacia got now. Look, Acacia know how to put some word into something. 
She said, coming soon. <laughs> Marie's Legacy, live designed by Lisa, July 2023. Pre-orders available soon. Look, look at Acacia. <laughs> look at Acacia. <laughs> Acacia over there marketing. I got to send Acacia a check. <laughs> Lord, let me send Acacia a check. I can't wait for this line to drop. Me too. Me too. I'm excited. Oh, I need a text. Um, oh boy. Let's see about my stuff. Um, Vernell said every day is Mother's Day, birthday, Father's Day, Christmas. Yep. It is just that they have the pretty stuff out in May and June and Christmas, but we have to change our mindset. And change our mindset and buy the stuff when it is available and celebrate every day like we want. No occasion text, just celebrate. That was beautifully said, Vernell. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well said. Well said, Vernell. We don't have to wait to no holiday, honey. Because who knows? You might, you know, um, who knows if, if your mama could even make it to next Mother's Day, which I'm not wishing that on nobody's mama, but let's just say give people their flowers while they're living. You know what I'm saying? Give people their flowers while they're living. Hold on, yeah. Refer, hold on, refer her to that policy. If, refer her to the contract. Okay. <laughs> and say no. Yep, she know what to do. Yeah, she know what to do. <laughs> Sorry, y'all give some business advice. And if you're a hairstylist and need some business advice, you want to take your business to the next level, coaching call with me. Okay, coaching call. All right. Um, shameless plug. I had to go ahead and put that in there. Ronell said, it. Okay, I seen that at the cross and at the house. <laughs> Your sister for makeup. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my sister. Oh, now, now she the major calling me. Coach Sheena calling me. Y'all, my phone be dry. Why is everybody calling me? I'm telling you, my phone be dry. I don't know what it is about that. Everybody is in my business. Yeah, I'm telling you, my phone do not be hot like that. The three people that call me. And, and they all my sisters, them people who I talk to. But um I'm on live. I'm on live. Okay, sorry, y'all. Um, be careful what you ask for, Lisa. Vernell. Vernell, you right. <laughs> I'll be on this live stream, honey. Y'all won't be seeing no live streams, honey. I don't pop out twins. Y'all be like, oh, these ain't went live in a whole year. I be over here with these twins, child. Oh, you need my sister's um information. Oh, her name on IG, my sister's um business name on IG is Makeup by Leslie Marie. Let me make sure that's right. Let me see. Yeah, it's makeup. Oh, I'm gonna put it in the chat because it's an underscore. It is make where my thing at is at makeup by underscore where's underscore Leslie and and y'all hear my my sister's middle name is Marie y'all know that's my grandma name that's a uh that's an Instagram and you can go to her booking site so yeah. Makeup by Legend Marie. All right. Acacia, they were smelling good. That after church smell. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They were looking good for their mom on Mother's Day. They sure was. Let's 
And it was looking good for them mamas on Mother's Day. Know that before church smell, walking strong arms too. Oh, okay, Acacia. Quite athletic. Okay, Acacia. We hear you. We hear you, Acacia. Not that time. Okay, Mimi said, oh, child, I'm talking about, I'm going to try to get through this hair. I keep stopping looking at comments. I'm for real, y'all. Y'all, I'm not going to be up here all night. I'm for real. I'm for real. I'm not. I'm not going to be up here all night with y'all. Okay, Mimi said, I have two brothers. One brother has three sets of twins. Mimi, I did not know that. Well, I ain't seen you in a long time, Mimi. Mimi, I don't think I've seen you since. I ain't going to tell you business, but I haven't seen you in so long. Probably since college. Because I know I used to come home from college. But maybe then. It's been a long time since I've seen you, Mimi. Y'all actually know Mimi in real life. But um, anyway... But you say you one brother has three sets of twins. One brother got one set. The first five years is tough, but after that, they start school as a breeze. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It was the same deal with my sister. Same deal with my sister. <laughs> the sentence said, "Say what, Mimi? Talk about generational line of twins? I know, right?" Mimi, you liable the cough and you pop out twin, honey. <laughs> you heard me. But anyway. Thank you, Acacia, for posting link for the world famous glow butters. Thank you, Acacia. Y'all want y'all some glow butters? Go ahead and get you some. Um... My mama say that every day give the, the give my flowers where I live every two hours. Huh. Where I live every two hours, the little girl that was her mo motto. Okay, because I can't smell them in the casket. I know, right? You sure can't smell them in the casket? They ain't gonna do her no good. Okay, thank you, Acacia. The sentence say, yes, my grandma said the same thing, Ronelle, but she made sure you got but she made sure you don't have drop her on the <laughs> casket flowers, huh? All the grandkids got her this big flower arrangement for of a Michael Kors bag. Ooh, that was nice. Is it has been a long time, girl? I know, right? Ronella said, "I." I am. I know that's right. I that's right. My mom said if I could spare the flowers, I can. I can something fried chicken, so I bring it. I didn't get that comment. Sorry if I'm acting slow because I didn't get that comment. You right. I just feel bad. <laughs> Girl, don't feel. <laughs> do not. Hold on. Let me tell my sister. Do not feel bad. Do not feel bad. Get your money. Yes. Get your money. It's funny, like, with me and my twins sometimes, like, how we be having to coach each other. So even though my twin is older than me, when it comes to certain stuff, I kind of act like the bit sister. And then when it comes to different stuff, she acts like the big sister. So it's like our our relationship or our roles is kind of it's kind of weird but funny in a way. Like depending on what it is. I guess when it comes to business, like I don't be playing. Like I don't. And so I be having to coach her sometimes, like to lay down the law with these clients, with some of her clients. Like, no, that's the policy. That's your policy. Don't let them come back and Say, oh, no, you got a contract. You got a policy. And the thing is, she worked with a lot of brides. So, because she does a lot of weddings. So, they be trying to play her like a base. So, I go, uh-uh. Get your money, sis. Get your money. Okay. 
Yes, that's what she wanted. She probably, my sister's probably needed some more support to say no. And she can have a soft heart and be trying to give in. I'm like, uh uh, girl, go on. Mm -mm. I'm like, honey, you got five kids looking at you. Okay, five mouths to feed. Get your money. Don't let them clients play you. And I know we kind of walk on the tangent, but I'm just saying. Anyway. Okay, Mimi said, no kids get for me. God knows when the right when the time is right. He sure do, child. He sure do. He sure do. Hold on, y'all. All right, Mimi said, talking about eating fried. Talking about eating fried chicken. Oh, Renelle was talking about fried eating fried chicken. Okay, so she said, I know that's right. My mom said, if I could spare flowers, I can eat some fried chicken. So bring it. <laughs> I had me some, um, speaking of fried chicken, I had some, um, I had some really good chicken. Y'all know I love a chicken wing. They got this new place across the street from where I work at. And they need to go ahead and send me a check because when Coach Martina was here, I had Coach Martina there eating chicken wing. They got some good chicken wing. Them things crispy. I think it's called Bon, bon Con or something. Okay, Vernell said, oh, my scalp is a little tender. Y'all, I, I think I'm I think I'm becoming tender-headed. And I kind of blame it on my friend DeSimsa because she tender-headed. And I always used to pick on her about being tender-headed. But I had to take out my braids because my scalp was feeling tender. And even now my scalp feels tender, like right here and right here. And I just don't know why. <laughs> Hey, Brother Marcus. Y'all, this is Brother Marcus. He said, hey, Sister Lisa, keep doing your thing. Thank you, Marcus. We should, look, Marcus, we trying to get the content out there. Oh, since y'all up here, y'all now, is, no, that's not your business page, Marcus. Now, come on now, Marcus. You got to come up here on your business page so the people can follow you, Brother Marcus. So if y'all need some interview tips, y'all need to go follow Coach Ramtree because he be putting out that content, Okay. Okay, he said he'll be right back. He about to log on to the business. Because my boy been putting in the work, okay? That's big brother Marcus. He be putting in the work with the content. He went viral on TikTok. He went viral on TikTok, y'all. So he about to log into his business account so y'all can see what he's talking about. Meanwhile, he's sitting right beside me. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. I'm surprised he ain't working on the content right now. Oh, there he go. There he go. There go Coach Roundtree. Coach Roundtree, the interview expert. He said he back. So, yeah, if y'all are in transition and y'all are trying to, um, y'all need some tips on how to negotiate um, a higher salary and interview tips. Yeah, career advice and interview tips. Go follow him. Because, um, like I say, I know he went viral on TikTok. Didn't you go viral on Facebook too, Marcus? Coach Roundtree? I think he went viral on there too. So go go follow because um, he got some good information up there. If you're trying to up your salary. We looking at two videos. You about to get these watched. Out. Yes! <laughs> Tell Marcus just have it playing on his computer or something. So I can get these watch hours. <laughs> but y'all see, this is the thing. And I know a lot of people are like, Lisa, you ain't monetized yet. The reason why, the reason why I'm not monetized yet is because so with the 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 way how this watch hours work, you gotta get you gotta get four thousand hours in in a year in 365 so i started going live all the time last year around this time so that's when my little count started 
So because I haven't reached the 4,000 within a year, it's almost kind of like my hours are kind of like resetting in a way because I haven't reached it yet. So I'm trying to, I need to double up on my videos and stuff so I can reach that 4,000 before that year lapse again. If th does that make sense? I hope that made sense the way I explained it. Because I was trying to explain it to somebody and I was like, that, no, that don't make sense. But that's what I was trying to say. So, like, the other day, my hours was at 3,800 and, like, 3,880 some. But then it dropped back down to 3,850. Because what happened is probably I done lapsed my year and whatever hours I made a year ago the day before, then cut off because now we at the year mark. Does that make sense to y'all? I hope that makes sense. The way I explain it. Okay. Coach Roundtree said, show did. I know that's right. What products are you using? Oh, Mimi, I'm just using the Marie's Legacy to twist my hair. And then I use the, um, this is what I use to put moisture on my hair. I use the moisture lock before I start twisting. That's all. Oh, and then I'm using this for my edges. The Shining Jam Edge Magic. I use that for my edges. That's all. Um, for now, I said, Lisa, it's because of your braids. It could irritate your scalp and make it tender. Some of them. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And to be honest with you, that does make sense because I hadn't had my hair in like box or braids like that in probably over a year versus I'm used to braiding my hair up like that maybe a couple of times a year. And I just haven't. I just been wearing my natural hair. So it, that's probably what it is. Oh, my God. You were so close. I know. And so let me check my watch hours. Now, I, you know, I kind of just stopped checking because I was getting frustrated with it. Um, I just stopped checking, but I'm going to just check just because I'm on live and I got more support. And I'm almost at two. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, y'all. I got, and I stopped checking my subscribers, but I'm going to check it today. I got 1,970 subscribers. God is good. Okay, so my watch hours today are, let's see what it is today. I don't want to cry. Now, look, now today, my watch hours is 3,799. You see what I'm talking about? It keeps fluctuating. So I know I have to go. I need, I really need to just go hard and go live every day like I used to because a year ago, I was going live every day, like every day, and that was pushing my um numbers up. And, like, now I'll go live. Like, I still drop content every day, but I don't go live every day. But I know going live every day, that gets my watch hours up. It does. Because I guarantee you, when I get off this live stream, I'm probably going to have, like, I don't know, 10 watch hours or something. So, doing that every day, I know we'll probably get my time up. But, child, I be tired. You hear me? Coach Roundtree said, oh, my God, you were so close. Yep. <laughs> Coach, are you related to the, the Richard Roundtree, the actor? He left me at the show did part. Because <laughs> I can see Marcus saying that. Y'all know Coach Roundtree in real life, okay? If y'all wondering. That's my brother. Um, the Shinta said, don't check because we're going to get you these watch time. Okay, we're going to get it. So um, if y'all want to help me get my watch time, go to some of my playlists and just maybe if you got like an extra device, just have the playlist playing. Like even if you're not home, just have it playing. But it have to be videos y'all haven't watched. So, um, if it's um, videos y'all already watched and they got the red line on the bottom, that doesn't count. It has to be videos you haven't watched. And I got I got over 1,000 videos on YouTube, so I'm pretty sure it's some videos y'all haven't watched yet. It'll be running my mouth talking about something. 
Okay, Coach Rowtree said, yeah, Chef, it's my cousin. Shut your mouth. Boy, that sound like uh, country folk. Shut your mouth. Yeah, that's all. Uh, you talk about Lee Warren, baby boy. Yeah, he used to stay off of uh, First Street. Yeah, we used to go to the corner store. Yeah, man. Don't y'all just love black people? I just love black people, boy. I'll tell you the truth. I can see Marcus now. My mother, no one, no one his cousin. That's why I asked, because he's very seldom. Do you see the name? Do you stay in Los Angeles? That's funny. This is a small world, ain't it? Whew. Okay, this camera is giving Android energy. I mean, this kind of laptop camera is giving Android energy. So y'all can't really see how beautiful the twists are. So I had to take a picture when I get off live so y'all can see how pretty they are. Because the Android energy is giving like fuzzy vibes. <laughs> boy, them Android users, boy, y'all don't like that now. Y'all do not like that. Y'all do not like when I throw shade at y'all, boy. Okay. So I don't even know what we was talking about. We done went down the whole rabbit hole. Yup. 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 I ain't even gonna say nothing. I was looking to a text message. Yup. Mm. But anyway, what are we talking about, y'all? Oh, we're talking about Coach Roundtree. So I hope y'all have um <laughs> the center. Leave my boy alone. <laughs> the center, leave him alone. The center said, sorry, Brunel. He thinks everyone his cousin. <laughs> leave Marcus alone. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> but you know what? We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes, we are. And it's okay. <laughs> Ronell said, Lisa, ain't nothing wrong with Android? It's, it's not nothing wrong with Android, Ronell. I just love to pick on y'all. She said, why pay all that money for Apple? Are you doing this? Are you doing this part for the name? Uh, I don't pay all that money for my phone. You know what? I had the same iPhone. I just, I really just upgraded my iPhone, to be honest with y'all. Because I, when I get my phone, I don't upgrade. I don't upgrade every year. I used to do that. Hey, Coach Sheena. Coach Sheena, you might have to call me after this. Oh yeah, we got to call me now. But um, I don't um had so many people. My sister called, the sensor called. Um, but yeah, I, I don't upgrade my phone every year like I used to. Like I literally just upgraded my phone like what was it like last month or two months ago? And the only reason I upgraded because my phone had a crack in it and everything. And I did not want to upgrade because I didn't want my phone bill to increase. But um, I had to end up getting a new phone because my work phone dropped. But um, I didn't even, because I had that phone for so long, I didn't even have to pay nothing on the phone except for the taxes. I think I only came out of pocket, not even that much money. And then my second phone, they ended up just giving it for me for free because I had had it for so long. So, yeah. But Vernell said, it's okay when you go down the rabbit hole as you take Jesus with you so he can be your protection. Yes, Vernell. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Because I sure do be going down the whole rabbit hole. That's how I be like in um, Bible study sometimes. Like even this morning, I was so proud of myself. <laughs> 
that's how it was in Bible study this morning. I love that I was off this morning because I, I really did like a full Bible study with myself. And you know what helped me this morning is normally I read my Bible in my bed, and that's dangerous. That's so dangerous to read my Bible in my bed because I'll be laying on that bed and I'll be like, you know how you be. Y'all, my client, okay, I know I got off the topic, but y'all, my client, I got to do an impersonation of my client. When I tell you she was knocked out, homegirl was slain in the spirit. You hear me? My client could not keep it together. Her head was like, she was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, she was so knocked out. Like, and she, and she know I report. She at this point, she know I'm gonna record her. But one thing about her is she, if she's sleeping, she can go to sleep. She's like, you know what? I ain't paying least no mind. Her head, she had the most bobbliest head, and y'all couldn't do nothing but laugh the whole time. I couldn't do nothing but laugh. Because you ever had those people who try to fall asleep, but then they wake up and try to have a conversation like they wouldn't sleep. You was just sleep. Don't try to wake up and try to. Then she be trying to wake up and say like a few words to make it seem like she present. I'm like, girl, you can just fall asleep. Don't feel like you got to keep conversation with me. Like, it's okay. But anyway, that was another rabbit hole. But I was talking about, um, oh, my Bible study this morning. So I was saying how dangerous it is to read my Bible in my bed because I be setting myself up for the okie doke. But this morning, and I might, I might change up my little routine. I came here in my office. Because my Bible is sitting in here. And I read my Bible here in the office. And I actually ended up reading and studying the word for over an hour. And that is not like me. That is not like me, honey. Because I be one and done. I'm like, all right, God, let's go on to the next thing. But I didn't this morning. So I was really proud of myself. So I'm saying I to say, I'm not saying that just to brag. But there's always a lesson. You know, you know God want to spend more time with us. So whatever you have to do. And if you start to realize, like, okay, this is not working, switch up your routine. Don't let the enemy lie to you and be like, girl, you can't do that or that's not possible. No, you need to switch up what you um what you're doing. So yeah, let that sit in y'all's spirit. I ain't gonna be up here all night. I ain't playing with y'all. I'm not gonna be up here all night. Okay. Now I keep saying that, but I keep starting looking at comments, right? Oh, my head is tender right there. You know what? I just thought about it. The center, you were supposed to give me a scalp massage this weekend. And she fell asleep on me, y'all. The center fell asleep on me this weekend. And the reason why I'm calling it out is because <laughs> she used to say, I always used to fall asleep on her. But homegirl was, oh, and, it's, and, and yeah, y'all, the center pulled this one on me. The center was trying to act like she wasn't asleep. She was asleep. So I turned the TV to something else. And she's going to try to wake up and try to have a conversation. I'm like, you were asleep. Like, don't try to wake up and talk to me now. She was like, Lisa, you ready to run your mouth some more? What you want to talk about? I was talking to the sense of next thing I know, she was knocked out. But it's okay. It's okay, the sense. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because okay. I know I don't fell asleep on you plenty of times. He was over there running that mouth, and I was and I was right good asleep. So it's okay. I forgive you. I just hope you got some good rest. All right. Okay, the sensor says she got a hair question. Do you think I should wet my hair to do a twist out? Now, the sensor, you talking about based on how your hair how your hair was this weekend? Um, yeah, uh, the sensor, yeah, wet your hair if you want to do a twist out. But the sensor, you already know what I'm going to tell you to do now. Yes, the sensor, you can wait to do a twist out, but you know I want you know I want you to shampoo your hair, right? But if you don't feel like um if you don't feel like um shampooing it, yes, just wait. It. Like and really saturate it, the sensor, if you can do a twist out. Okay, Brunel said, I do not upgrade nothing. 
Nothing is in the system. Don't do it on the phone. I have, and I do not do it because every time you get a new phone, they delete something you like on your old one. Oh, yeah, they sure do. They sure do. Well, no, not what mine. I was able to transfer all my stuff over. Nothing didn't delete on mine. Mimi said, ooh, it's tender right there. Ooh, I just need somebody just to press my head right there. Okay, Vernell said, I oh, know I read it. Mimi said, it's been like that before the bobblehead. I've been like that before the bobblehead, the whole appointment. Yes, child. Some people be already sleep at the bowl. They be sleep at the bowl, honey. I'm like, well, child, I hate to wake you up. You got to get up. <laughs> but you know what? You know, I don't mind when y'all go to sleep. I actually like when y'all go to sleep. <laughs> I do. So if you want to come to my salon and fall asleep, by all means necessary, honey, do me and you a favor and fall asleep, okay? You don't have to worry about talking to me the entire time. Trust me, I would be okay. I would be a okay. The center said, "Who me this weekend, huh? We never talk. We never talked about that part." Now the center, you were good and sleep. And then, and then you're gonna try to redeem yourself when you got up the next morning. Was like, Lisa, you was what you say I was doing in my sleep, girl. You was talking in your sleep and everything. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. All right, y'all. So one section done. <laughs> now, they didn't take me an hour and 16 minutes to do this part. I actually ran my mouth for 30 minutes. So it took me 45 minutes to do this. So another 45 minutes. I ain't been up here. I'm not going to be up here all night. Seven o'clock, I'm gone. I'm only doing two hours up here. Seven o'clock, I'm gone. Okay, I'm gone. I ain't messing with y'all all night. Okay. Hey, Britney's life. Thank you so much for joining. Thank y'all so much for joining. I'm not going to tarry with y'all all night. Okay. Uh, Ronell said, God is trying to give. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Renelle said, God is trying to give atmosphere to his so you can absorb it in a different way so it can get down to your spirit in a different form. Let's drink some water off of that. Renelle, that was good. That's what it is. I need to shift in the atmosphere. That's exactly what I needed, Vernell. Because, you know, I need to get this word. <sighs> I can't even say nothing right now. I've been watching some, some videos, and it has been making me open my Bible up more and seeing what the script. Like, I had to go dive deep this morning because, you know, we can listen to what people say. We can listen to the stuff that people say here on YouTube. And even if you go to church, you have to open the Bible and see what it's saying for yourself. You, we can't always just go by, oh, what the preacher said or what this person said. Even me on my live stream, honey, y'all need to open up your own Bibles and, and take it to the scripture. Because y'all know me, I be reading y'all comments and be mixing up words. So, um, and it's not to call the pastors bad or anything, but it just goes to show like, how we really have to read the word and ask the Holy Spirit for understanding for ourselves and not just go based on what, oh, well, this person said this. No, but what does the word of God say? Like, what, what, how did the Holy Spirit help you understand that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is really making me look at my, look at my Bible and be like, huh? So you mean to tell me that, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And some of the stuff I'm finding out, I'm kind of like mind-blowing. It, it's, it's just mind-blowing. So the Bible is lit, 
and we and we hoping and we praying that the Bible app contact Coach Sheena, so you know y'all can hear Coach Sheena read that whole Bible on that Bible app, and we can send her a check. Because we tired of that man barking at us. Like, we tired of that boring man barking at us early in the morning. Like, well, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Early in the morning, you want something pleasant in the morning. So, um, Baba App, send me a check. Baba App, send Coach Sheena a check. Because y'all need to put her on that Baba App. But that's okay, because she got her own Baba App on her channel. So, y'all go follow her. All right. Um... The sentence said, I don't even know how to rub my own scalp without crying. Bless your heart. But see, see, the sense I didn't, I did the sense of hair this weekend. Well, I just did like some flat twists. And she claimed I, I'm I'm hurting her, but the sense I didn't hurt your head this week, did I? Did I know? And I want to do this other style in the sense of hair. And I told her, don't start. Don't start with that. Uh, don't start crying because I want to try this style on her head. Come on, the sense of content. You got to do it for me for content now. Don't, don't be playing. Don't be over there crying. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, hey, Gigi. Thank you so much for joining, Gigi. Oh, Koshina laughing. Ronell said, as pastors say, read the Bible for yourself and follow along when I'm reading so you can see for yourself what it is saying. Yep. Yep. And you know, another thing that I'm learning too is like, we got to understand like context because people, sometimes people will say stuff and they taking it way out of context. And, and also coach Sheena, you remember how, when you was reading the old, te- no, the new Testament and you were saying how um how boring the introductions were. The introductions were boring, but I'm finding myself on how useful it is because we need to see who is writing this book. Like who like is it Paul writing this book and who is he talking to? Or who is in the book of Leviticus? Who is they talking to? Like who is this referring to? Because a lot of times we'll take stuff out of context, like it's just like Right now, I've been on live for an hour and 22 minutes. I can say my butt stink, right? I can say my butt stink. <laughs> now, I'm taking as an example. Somebody can screen re- um, record and say, oh, Lisa said, somebody can screen record that part and say, Lisa said her butt stink, right? And so it'll go viral. They're like, wow, she was on live telling people her butt stink. But they didn't they didn't understand the context while I was talking about before. Like before, I wasn't even talking about my butt being stained. I was talking about reading the Bible. And now I'm talking about you know the contents and stuff. So that's the same thing with the Bible. Like sometimes we'll look at some stuff and we just take stuff all out of context and we're not realizing who wrote this part, who what was it referring to, who was they talking to. And that 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 bring that just brings so much clarity and it opened up your eyes and you're like, oh, okay. So that's what God was referring to. And we see it all the time on social media. People take sound bites of people um lives. They could say one thing, and what somebody will do is they'll screen record it and it'll go viral. And then people will be counseling them based on something that's on their live stream. But even the people who's on the live stream, they'd be like. That's not what she meant. She was actually talking about something else. But if y'all actually watched the whole thing, y'all realize what she was talking about. So, um, oh, this is tender. Okay. Um, you actually realize what she was talking about. So this is the same thing with the Bible. Like, yeah. So I hope that made sense. Okay, Gigi said, I... I ain't working decorating this purple room. Please pray for patience. Oh, you already have patience, Gigi. It's already done. It's already done, Gigi. You already have the patience.
All right, purchase your favorite products here. Thank you, Acacia. Thank you. Oh, a um, little bit of church announcements, even though we're like an hour and 30 minutes in. I just want to say this right quick. Um, yeah, most of y'all have probably seen it if you're on my email list, but today is the 15th of May. So that means that June calendar is open. Um, if you're looking to book an appointment for June, you can go ahead and book your hair appointment. So that's open and go ahead and get you a good slot. Um, I am working a Saturday in June, and I think the Saturday is already booked. So if you want the Saturday, it's already gone. I tell you, when I do open up on Saturdays, them slots get gone quick. So my calendar open the same time, same day each month. It's on the 15th at 12 p.m. each month. So it shouldn't be a surprise to people, which some people still be surprised. I guarantee you by the end of this week when most of the good spots are, are gone, Somebody going to text me on Friday and be like, Lisa, your calendar opened already. I don't see my... I'm like, girl, it's the same time each month. Can y'all hear my music? Oh, you're welcome, Gigi. Yeah, so as y'all can see, these ain't like tiny, tiny, but I'm I'm doing them a little bigger. And child, mess around with me, we might have a ponytail in the back. Cause I'm telling you, seven o'clock, I'm gone. <laughs> now how I'm gonna rush the Holy Spirit? Cause y'all know what happened last time. I kept saying I'm gonna be gone, be gone. I still was up here, but now nah, I'm for real though. I'm gonna try to be gone. We're gonna see how the spirit moves. But yeah, oh, I meant to say this too. Um, yesterday we did a um we did a walk at the park too. I'm trying to uh, I can hear it when you're not talking. Yeah, it do seem kind of loud. Cause I want you to flag me for um for playing this music. But I don't want to say this house quiet. But yeah, yesterday um. Me and my mom, we had went for a walk at the park, too. I had her out there exercising. You hear me? I had my mama out there exercising. Had that, had that heart rate elevated. I said, come on, mom. We're going to do these walks. She said, yeah, I see you walk with me. It's paying off. I said, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. We got to get that good old walk and get that heart rate in. And that's like I was telling my mama because she said she wanted to get back to walking. And I was like, um... my mama i was like um i was like yeah ma you can do it like with the waltz and stuff and i was like um you know just just make a commitment each day like you can do it so i think that was really helpful how we got uh a good walk in yesterday and and she felt good that she got that walk in and and then we had some ice cream yesterday it was so good Y'all, it was so funny. We had went to the ice cream place uh, called Dario's. Do y'all have a Dario's where y'all stay at? Now, we don't have one here in Raleigh, but they have one back home, right? Um, And so when we was going inside Dario's to go get ice cream, now, if anybody know my daddy, if y'all know my daddy in real life, my daddy can talk. Now, one thing about Mr. Mickle, oh, he gonna talk. Like, it don't even matter if he don't know you. He, my daddy will talk. My daddy is a talker, okay? He he will find something to talk about and just be over there just to kick in, right? So um, we got out the uh, car and get ready to go to Dario's. And um, my daddy was riding in the car with me. And my mom had followed behind us because after that, I was getting ready to drive back to Raleigh. And so uh, this lady came up and she was like, they give me our free ice cream cones at uh for Monday at Dario's. And I was like, okay. And I was like, then you know her? He was like, I do not know her. <laughs> and um, so my mama came up. My mama was like, who was that? And then the lady came. They give me our free ice cream cones at Dario's for Monday. 
And um, we was just laughing because my mom was like, she told everybody who was coming into Dario, like she, I think she probably had a problem though, bless her heart though. I, I ain't picking on the lady, but I'm just saying, I think she probably had a little problem, but I thought it was sweet that she was, she was spread. My mama said, child, she out here spreading them free ice cream cones like it's the gospel. I said, ain't she? Ain't she? But we did, we was just so tickled because, um, we thought maybe my daddy had knew the lady because my daddy used to work at the hospital. And so my daddy knew a whole lot of people like came in. Now, everybody know my daddy. If you went to Salem and you went to Forsyth Hospital, everybody know my daddy from Forsyth, right? But um, so we thought it was somebody from his old job, but it wasn't. It wasn't. That lady was, honey, she was telling everybody about them free ice cream cones. But um, I forgot the point I was trying to make about that. But we're going to say this story sit right there because I thought it was funny. Okay. We're going to let it sit right there. I can hear it when you're not talking. Okay. Hey, Miss Dorita. Thank you so much for joining. Good evening, everyone. Lisa, you're doing mini twist. Yep, I'm doing mini twist. Mini twist again. And look, I ain't going to behold. 7 o'clock, I got to go. I ain't messing with y'all all night. 7 o'clock, I got to go. Because what I might do is because I still do want to get a walk in. I do. I still kind of want to get a walk in. Because I've been doing good with my walks. Um, Mimi said, get them steps in, Miss Milko. Your mama's so sweet. Yeah, she'll get them steps in, honey. With her jeans skirt on. <laughs> my mama's getting her steps in, honey. She sure was, and she went all the way up on the, um, I thought she was going to be scared to go on that outlook, but no, she went up there. I said, Ma, you going to be scared? Look, I was more scared than her to go up on that outlook, because it was it was high. But we went up there to the little out overlook of the uh, quarry thing. But yeah, honey, she was getting her steps in. Your mama's so sweet. Thank you, Mimi. Ain't nothing changed, honey. They still the same. Oh, and look, and look, Mimi, um, well, I had told my mom, I said, let's go get some ice cream when we left the park. And she um, she said, you going to Mr. Rankin's? I said, no, we ain't got to drive way, way over there. Let's go to Dario's. <laughs> oh. Anyway, Mr. Rankin's, that was my old manager. I used to work at this restaurant called Mayberry's, and they got ice cream. But no, we ain't drive over there. Oh, Mr. Milk was so funny. Yeah. Mimi, you know, my daddy be talking. He do. My daddy, my daddy can talk. He can talk. Now, you hear me. Y'all heard him on the live stream. Just be talking. I think that's why um, my sister one time, uh, my niece, I went and seen my niece. She got her uh, a new, she got her little watch. And my niece, she can talk. She run her mouth. So sometimes, like, my, my sister get tired of Kaylee running that mouth. She's like, KK, call your granddaddy. <laughs> I kid you not. One time, my sister told KK to call her granddaddy. Why was they on that phone for hours? Why was they on that phone for a long time talking? I can't tell you what they were talking about. But they probably were just talking. By any and everything, child. All right. Uh, share this with three friends. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Acacia. Acacia said one thing y'all are going to do. Acacia said one thing y'all going to do this live stream. Y'all going to like this video. Y'all going to share it. Ain't that right, Acacia? <laughs> Ain't that right, Acacia? <laughs> Acacia said, y'all going to like this video and y'all going to share it. Okay. My head hurts. Um, yes, you're doing awesome, Lisa. Thank you, Acacia. Not Mr. Rankin. Yes, Mr. Rankin. <laughs> he still got the... <laughs> Mimi, I should have went by Mayberry just, just so I can see. No, I can't even. I can't. I can't even do it. He, he still got them shorts in his foot. <laughs> and, I, and this is what I don't understand about some men. 
they would keep pulling them shorts up. They already in your booty cheeks. They already in your booty cheeks. I can just imagine Mr. Rankin being at that uh being at that front desk and just keep pulling up his, his shorts. Boy, whew, that is funny to me. You hear me? That is funny to me, me, me. <laughs> oh, those are good memories. Those are good memories. <laughs> I can like visually see him now, Mimi. Oh gosh. I am planning a trip back to Germany mid next year. So far, my cousin is planning to go with me. Oh, that's good, Gigi. I had a client. She um she's in a, a military where she she does uh she's a travel nurse and she was stationed in Germany for about um three years. And she really did enjoy it. She did. She literally moved back right before the pandemic. <laughs> yep, she did. She enjoyed herself. She said she wanted to go back. So I heard Germany was nice. She was trying to get me to come over there and visit her while she was over there. She was like, at least this would be the perfect time. She said, all you got to do is buy your plane ticket. You know, you have someone to stay and come over here. But I wasn't strong enough to do it. I wasn't strong enough to do it. And... I couldn't think of anybody to go with me either because I didn't want to go over there by myself. I didn't want to go out the country by myself like that. Because I never did. I had never um traveled out the country by myself. So but yeah, Gigi. Travel the world, honey. Thank you, Gigi, for liking and sharing. Loving the mini twist. Thank you, Gigi. Oh, uh -huh. Coach Sheena, she said, not tuck the shirt in, Coach Sheena. <laughs> Coach Sheena, this, this how I'll be. <laughs> Coach Sheena, <laughs> this how I would be, Coach Sheena. Let me pull my pants head down. Okay, everybody calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I need some help. I need to be on somebody's stage. And I was picking on my mama. My mama get tickled too because um I used to pick on my mama about her skirts riding up. I'm like, mom, pull that skirt down. <laughs> I said, Mom, why you have your skirt sitting up like that? Pull that skirt down. Pull that skirt down. Why is it riding up? Oh, God. So, yeah. <laughs> Acacia said, I would wear those twists for a month. Well, Acacia, that's the goal. That's the goal, Acacia. <laughs> Acacia, that's really the goal. So, if today is May the 15th, that means I shouldn't be taking these out until June 15th. So, let's see if that actually happens. Let's see if that happens. That's the goal. Okay. Um, um, yeah, vacation okay, make them twist last. Yeah, I should, but I don't do right. All right. Gigi said, yes, it's nice. I stayed there four years. Wish I could move there. Oh, well, go ahead and move there. What's we'll stopping you, Gigi? We're well, going to move there. Go ahead, pick up Sexton. Are you taking Sexton with you too? Will you go on your trip or are you going to leave him here? You just, you just get on my live stream and tell all her business. <laughs> um, hey, Karen said, Lord. <laughs> Lisa, I know. I know. I ain't had to get up and do that demonstration. I ain't had to do all that. I was doing the most. I know. I know. I know. I was doing the most, but that's just what I do. I do the most sometimes. Listen, that would be easy for me. Yeah, I know it would, Acacia. Leaving Saxton at home? Oh. Well, who gonna watch Saxton? You gonna put him in a kennel with somebody to watch him? He gonna miss you. He don't know what to do with his, well, his mommy. He is. 
Okay. When I fly out, that's my style. Okay, Acacia. Yeah, Acacia. Acacia about, Acacia about to pull up on me. Acacia said, Lord, I see what you're doing for my other brothers and sisters on Lisa Smiles channel. Lord, do it for me. She done seen Coach Martina. My mama was so shocked. I told my mama, and then my mama be on that Facebook. She was like, oh, uh, somebody was telling me something that you put something on the Facebook about how you, you did somebody here in Texas. I said, no, ma, somebody flew in from Texas. You got to hear that. She said, what? Yeah, my mama dramatic. She was just like, what? I said, yeah, ma. Um, I said, yeah, lady off. Um, one of the ladies who met me off YouTube, she said, are you serious? Somebody off YouTube came and got their head now? Wow. <laughs> I said, yeah, ma. <laughs> yeah, the YouTube streets are working. YouTube streets are working. So I said, yeah, it was a blessing. Um. Okay, I'm on the last two rows after this. I'm going to go, y'all. Um, so, yeah. I'm telling that to say... I, I, I was telling that to say that Acacia said, I'm about to be in that number. I got I to gotta turn to this mirror right quick. Hold on, y'all. Acacia said, I want to be in that number. Yeah, Acacia said, I want to be in that number, honey. So, Acacia, come on and get your services so we can cut up. Acacia like to cut up. Y'all say from the uh from the uh video. All right. Uh Mimi said, Lisa, I don't know if you remember Mika, but when she stationed, but she stationed over there in Germany. Oh, yeah, she sure did. Now, hold on. Um, that wasn't Mika. Was it Mika? Now, I'm about to say your real name, Mimi. I know you don't want me to say your real name. But um, well, that was it, Mika? I thought that was, um, what's her name? Not Mika, but... um. She used to work in the morning a lot. Cause I know me, I know, okay, I don't want to tell this. I don't want to say too much. Okay, Gigi said, sending sex into a family member. Oh, okay. So he'll be in good hands, Gigi. He'll be in good hands. Okay, um, Acacia said, for those of you that entered the room late, Lisa is demoing on her line. Oh, yeah, so yeah, y'all who, who coming in late, I'm doing mini twists on my hair with Marie's Legacy. And you know what? I need to be, I need to make me a short. I need to be doing, I need to be multitasking and create me some content. Let me do a little, hold on, let me do a little, record a quick video. Hold on, y'all. Oh, hold on. Okay, I had to do that for my real. All right. Um, Coach and Mimi, you grew up with Lisa. Yes, I'm getting y'all business. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We know each other in real life. Now, I haven't seen Mimi in a couple of years is what I was saying. But, oh, yeah, we used to cut up together now. Coach Shannon, we you okay? Okay, I didn't want to say yeah. Me and Mimi used to work together and became friends. She's a great person and still funny as ever. Yeah, me and Mimi used to work together. We sure did, and we used to cut up, honey. Used to have a good old time, Kiki. Used to have a good old time, Kiki, in the back. Yeah, we sure did. God has brought us a mighty long way, Mimi. <laughs> God has brought us a very long way. Oh, gosh. I used to be happy when I used to see that, uh, like, who on the schedule for the next day, especially when me and Mimi used to work on a Saturday night, oh, we would have so much fun. I'm like, oh, yes. 
Mimi working. Oh yeah, we about it. Oh yeah. And Mimi, when we used to have um, I love when it used to be me, you, and um, it was it Avery. Um, yeah, was it was it Avery? Man, we would have so much fun in that restaurant. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> we would have so much fun when all the young folks was working at night. When we had the young managers. Oh yeah, we used to have a good old time. And I remember, I, I remember that when I used to have to uh, clean the bathrooms. I remember bringing my CD player. The center had asked me this weekend. Did uh, I have a CD player? I said, the center, I do not have no CD player. But um, I had a CD player. And I used to bring my little CD player, have my little headphones in, back there clean them uh, bathrooms. Okay. <laughs> Coach, you say, yeah, I'm in y'all business. Yeah. We used to be hanging out, child. Are you running? Look at look at Acacia. Are you running low on products? Be sure to purchase below. Go ahead, Acacia. God bless you, Acacia. <laughs> oh, Coach Rita said she sure is funny, baby. Okay, Mika is over there now, girl. She used to work mornings. She transferred with me from Salem when they closed that location. I'm trying to think, Mika. I cannot place who Mika is right now. Yeah, how did Mika look? Was she light skin or dark skin? I can't remember. I do remember some people transferring when y'all came over to uh my our uh, location. And just think, Mimi, we were so young. She said we used to cut up all. We sure did. We used to cut up all night at work, like just key. Kid, and I could just see me, Mimi. I can still see you just over there rolling, like you're trying to put your order in, and I'm over there just messing with you. I can see you at that computer now. You like just cracking up. Mimi used to be laughing, like just giggling. That's good memories, though. That's that's really good memories. We did, we had a good time. Okay, um look at look at Acacia promoting. Thank you, Acacia. Thank you, Acacia. I tell you, I used to have um I had a dream about going back working there, Mimi. I don't know if you was on that live stream and I had that dream how I was going back there and I was working. You remember Ike, Mimi? Ike and stuff. I remember Ike. <laughs> I'm like, come on, Ike, go ahead and make me a hot dog. I used to be throwing him money to make me food. <laughs> no, a good one, we weren't supposed to do that. Like, when we used to be real busy, I'm like, oh, okay, so y'all ain't gonna give me no break. Okay. I'm like, Ike, go ahead and make me some. Go ahead and make me some, Ike. I'll throw you a couple of dollars. Run me a hot dog or something. Okay, everybody used to think we were so, yeah. and I don't know what it is about um about black people because where we worked at it was a lot of you know a lot of our other Caucasian sisters we used to work with a lot of them well a lot of them used to come over come in there and order food but they used to get us mixed up like they're like hey excuse me we never did get our so and so and I'm like this ain't my section. They used to think we look alike. I still talk to Ike from. Oh, you still talk to Ike from time to time. Oh, Ike. Who was the other cook? Now we just have not only a conversation now, Mimi, because some people watch this and like I don't know who she's talking about. But the lesson from this is <laughs> there's no lesson. <laughs> just savor the good times. That's the lesson. Okay, y'all, we're on the last section. We on the last section, y'all. We on the last section. They looking good. Okay, if you done made it to this point, we almost at the two hour mark. 
If you done made it to this point, I want you to put in the chat. I want you to put in the chat what's gonna be the what's gonna be the saying. What did we talk about? Give people their flowers while they live and put that in the chat. That's a long, that's a long quote. Give people their flowers while they living. That's the lesson. That's the lesson. I don't know why my head is so tender up here in the front. I don't know why. See, y'all, these are actually a little bit bigger than last time. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I can. They're a lot bigger. And see, the smaller you do them, they'll last longer. So, if you got like some thick hair, especially people with kids, I know um, Coach Sheena, her daughter Brian, have uh, thick hair. And even though it's time consuming, you slap them mini twists in her hair. Honey, you don't have to worry about her for a while. And you can even shampoo her hair with the mini twists in her hair. Hey, Tracy Ann. Happy belated Mother's Day, Tracy Ann. She said she's driving home from work. Okay, sister. Hope you had a good day at work. Tracy Ann been going to them Pilates. Tracy Ann said, I shall have a flat stomach at the end of 2023. Come on now. Come on, Tracy Ann been one of them Pilates classes. Coach Sheena said, give people their flowers where they're living. Okay, good, good. So, um, Tracy Ann, have you got your flat stomach yet? Your six-pack yet? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I want to know, have you got it yet? I didn't gave up on the flat stomach. I have. <laughs> I know that's kind of bad to say, but I have. I don't I don't expect my stomach to be like super flat. But um I just don't want to have no flap. I guess it's my goal. I need to try it. Tell me about it. Oh, the Pilates? Are you talking about Pilates Acacia? But I will say this foam hitting my scalp feel really, really good right about now. It feels really good. Hey, did y'all know I have a client who's coming um Oh, I have somebody who just texted me and texted me. I have a client who's coming on Wednesday, and um, I two strand twisted her hair last month. And so, y'all know y'all can start y'all two strand twists. Y'all can start locks off with two strand twists. So, she kind of been on the fence with starting locks. And so, I told her mama, because um, her mom got locks, and she's seen how pretty her mom locks look, because her mom started off with two strand twists too. And I was telling her, I said, well, tell your daughter just come to get two strand twists and see how she like them. And so her mom actually texted me today and was like, I ain't going to tell the lady business, but I can say her name. She was like, I'm just calling girl T. She was like, T really does like her two strand twists and she ready to lock her hair up. And so um, she wanted to know, can you just lock it from with the twist she got in? I said, yeah. I said, if she liked the size of the twist that I did last time, we can just go ahead and just lock it up because um, it's not like her hair going to lock like automatically, but she still got the two strand twist in from what I did a month ago and she still like them. So I'm like, yeah, she can just come back and we can retwist it and we can keep on retwisting it and, um, have her hair locked. So you definitely don't have to do like the, some people got like the comb. Is it the comb twist? You can definitely start them off with the two strand twist. Like. And um, I think she's going to love it. I, I know she's going to love it. 
And I'm like, she should have did it like when you started, when the mama started, but she wasn't ready. You know, everybody moving their own time. And so thank you, Karen, for being here. No, it ain't flat yet. I'm going, I'm going for not being flabby. Oh, okay. I feel you, Tracy. Ann. You're doing great with going to class. Yes, you are, Tracy Ann. You are, you're doing real good. Okay, Acacia asks, how long does it take them to lock? It kind of depends on the um the client and the hair type. Sometimes it can take about sometimes it can take like sometimes budding will start to happen, but you'll kind of see that happen like throughout the lot. You'll see it kind of like knotting up. Sometimes that can happen like within three to five months, just kind of depending on the client's hair. Um, but for them to fully, fully lock like the whole head. Again, it kind of depends on how long your hair is and your hair type. Sometimes they can fully, fully lock. I say within eight to nine months. Yeah, anywhere between eight to nine months. So I've definitely had clients who said they want to lock their hair. And they kept them jokers for six months and calling them things right on out. Comb them right on out. So, even if you think about locking your hair, it's really not a permanent decision right away. Because if you want to comb them out, like, the next month, you could. Like, even within three months. But some people, depending on how your hair is, you probably can comb them out. But, um, but I will say this, though. If you interlock them, see, interlock is different. So interlock is when they take the crochet needle. If y'all have ever got crochet braids before and y'all know the crochet hook they use, they'll do that to interlock them. And interlocking basically makes a knot at the root. So I have seen somebody call out interlocking, but it's more difficult. So, um, but if you just started your locks with two strand twists or comb twists, that's a little bit easier to comb out. Now, I know some of y'all are like, well, why would I want to um, comb them out? Why don't they just cut their hair? Well, a lot of people don't want to lose all their hair. A lot of people don't want to go back to short hair. So even though it's time consuming, you, you do kind of save your hair if you comb them out. If you comb them out correctly. So, yeah, you can comb them out. But I think with me, I don't know if I would have the patience to do that. I would just like grow mine out until I got all the new growth and I'll cut. I just do a bit chop again. Y'all know me. I'll cut my hair, but everybody is not comfortable doing that. Acacia asks, is it bad or damaging to comb them out? If you're not doing it right, it can be damaging. Yep, it can be damaging. Like if you just taking, like if you comb it out on dry hair, like you're taking something like this and just raking it out. It can be damaging and you're going to have to end up trimming a lot of hair off. But if you apply like a lot of conditioner and stuff and um, you still would have to use something small like this, but take your time and picking them out. Um, I, I've seen it done before and the person hair came out fine. Of course, they did need it. You are going to need a trim because you got to think however long you had your hair, you haven't had your hair trimmed. So you already have some split ends, but. It shouldn't be totally damaged if you did it the right way. Because at first, I was against it. But um, one of my clients, she actually ended up doing it. And her hair turned out all right. Like, it wasn't as damaged as I thought it was going to be. All right, y'all, guess what? We are done with the front. Here's the front. It's all done.
Yeah, my scalp feels so tender right up in here. Okay, this part is done. So now we have the back. And y'all know the back is pretty quick. But I'm not tearing with y'all all night, okay? I told y'all, 7 o'clock I'm gone because I want to walk. So I might be out there walking with half a head done. And that's okay. That's okay. That is okay. So, yeah. I have to take a picture to see if my hair has grown since last time I did these twists. Okay. All right, y'all. So let's park the bed. Let's start parking the bed. Um, oh, you're welcome, Gigi. She said great information. Uh, Acacia said, I'm heading to my son's soccer game. Okay, well, tell Bryson to have a good game. I hope he, um, I hope they win. If not, I hope it builds some character. <laughs> I remember Acacia had said that one time. She was like, Oh, they lost. I said, Oh, she said, No, it's okay. It builds character. <laughs> That was funny to me. Okay. Let me part the bark back of my hair, y'all. Hold on. Now I need to sit this off something. Hold on. Okay, Tracy Ann said, I might have to try braiding the twist first, but that just seems like it takes longer. Do the twist last longer that way? Yeah, they do, Tracy Ann. Yeah, if you braid the roots first and then two-strand twist it, your mini twist will last a whole lot longer because it'll keep the roots stretched and it'll keep your hair looking neater longer. Um, Especially if you have to shampoo your hair with the um twist in Cause like sometimes like if you shampoo them with the twist in, it might look a little frizzy at the root. But if you braid them at the root first, it will keep your um, it will make your twist be fresh a little bit longer. But tracing in, this, the reason why I'm kind of moving a little bit fast on these twists is because I only braided them at the root for the first two rows, like on the around the edges. But the rest of them, I'm just doing regular two strand twists because I said. I'm going to try to keep these for a month, but y'all know I'm funny and acting. I'll get up here next so we can have a whole different hairstyle. So we'll see. But the goal is I want to keep them for a month because so, I'm going to I want to do something different to my hair for my birthday. It's almost July, y'all. The best month in the year is July. If you know somebody who was born in July... They're sweet, okay? They're special. I can't see the back of my head. Okay. I got the part right. Um, but yeah, braiding, braiding first does take longer, but it does make the hairstyle last longer. So it kind of depends on if you want to Put in that work. You want to put in that time. Yeah, braid them at the root. Okay. Acacia said, I'm loving the outcome of the product. Thank you, Acacia. Thank you. You have a reason. Like I said, that's what I'm using. I'm almost done. Oh, did he email me back? And Because I know I keep showing y'all and it don't have a um, it don't have a logo on it, but my logo is being made. Oh no, he didn't email me back yet. So my logo is being made and it's turned out really, really beautiful. I actually had met with him on Saturday um, because he's actually drawing my logo. And um, uh, from what I can see so far, it looks really, really good. So yeah, once my logo finished getting made, then um, then I can proceed with 
the label and everything. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Okay. Uh, Mimi asks, do you blow dry your hair out before starting this wisp? So um last time I did, yeah, last time I did blow dry it, but this time I didn't blow dry it. I had just um I put it in some um dookie braids the night before because I washed my hair like late last night. And um I just did like some dookie braids to stretch it out and let it air dry overnight. And so today my when I combed my hair out, it was just dry. But yeah, typically I do because I want it to um I don't want to have as much shrinkage. Is your hairline going to have a curl cream? Yeah, it will eventually have a curl cream. Yep. Mimi asks, yes, ladies, it looks good. I'm getting inspired. Yeah, get inspired. Yep, I'm going to have a curl cream. Um, we're going to have shampoo. We're going to have, we're going to visually have all of that. Yep. Once we get this one on the ground, it's it's time to go back into the lab. We oh we're going back into the lab. Okay, we going back into the lab. This is just the first product. So yeah, we're going to the lab. And for those, um, because I did have somebody who asked, this, this product is not a firm hold. So like Y'all know how I use like influence hair products and I have medium, well, I have soft hold, I have medium hold and firm hold. The Marie's legacy is like more so like a medium to soft hold. It's not like a super, super firm hold like the coconut milk. So I just want to put that out there for those who want to know about the whole properties of it. But it's good as you can see. It's good. I did two strand twists with this. I have did um, rod sets with this. I have did twist outs with this. And even though with it being medium hole, my twist outs and stuff still last. They still last. But I am going to create another one that has more of a firmer hole for those who are looking for something with more holding power. But this is good enough for me right now. Tracy Ann said, I do braids. I do braids to twist on the very bottom row, but I have to redo them every so often because they come undone. I think the bonnet rubs them. Yeah, so around the part where the bonnet rubs them, Tracy Ann, um, maybe you'll yeah, definitely start braiding the roots first and then do the two strand twists. Y'all, it's almost 7 o'clock. I told you I'm about to go. I'm about to go, y'all. Now, what I'm about to do to the back of this head? I'm about to put it into a ponytail. I'm about to go on my walk just like this. I do because I want to be. I want to be walking. And now I just have to finish these twists when I get back from my walk. Because I don't want to have to miss a day. Okay. This this past wash day, I let my hair dry in bit twists before I twist them. I like how they turn out better. Oh, good, good. That's good, Tracy Ann. Tracy Ann has she is just doing so good over there with her hair. I'm just so proud of Tracy Ann from when you first found this channel and how you was with your hair, like. You have came a long way with trying out new things with your hair. I'm proud of you. And thank you, Keisha, for posting the link. Oh, you got your walk in today, Coach Sheena? Well, that's good. Well, you about to motivate me on this walk. Yeah, about to get mine in. Oh, and I might go swing in the hammocks, too. That's another thing. I'm going I'm to walk by the hammock so I can sit there and swing. That's been my little nighttime routine. I've been loving it. I take my little walk, and then I go sit in the hammock and swing. It's so relaxing. All right, y'all. So, look, we done made it past two hours. I said three hours, but no, I want to get my walk in. So, this was a little short twisting marathon. I hope it kept y'all company. 
Um, make sure y'all share this live stream with somebody so they can be blessed, so they can laugh and have a kiki and learn something. Tracy Ann said, keep, good job, Coach Sheena, keep going. Yeah, Coach Sheena going to have that flat stomach. You hear me? <laughs> Coach Sheena, somebody, grandma with a flat stomach. You hear me? Sister girl said, I'm about to have a flat stomach by all means necessary. She said no to the cupcake the other day. So you know she about to have that flat stomach. Y'all better watch out now. Y'all better watch out. Watch out. Um, Gigi said, Lisa, you are right about the silk hairbands. No hair loss or pulling. Yeah, Gigi. It makes a big difference. I be trying to tell people that. Yeah, get you a, a satin or silk um hair tie. Because they'll stop that shedding. I'm going to finish this last two on this road and I'm going to stop. But yeah, stay away from those um other headbands that uh like wearing hair ties like this a lot. Oh man, but y'all seen it. It pulls your hair out. So yeah, last but not least, it's seven o'clock. If you made it to this point. I want you to put in the comments because we're about to go. Um, well, don't put this in the comments yet. The calendar is open for January. Uh, what else? Church announcements I got to make. Um, yeah, the June calendar is open for booking. Also, um, I put in my email today about the Lisa Lux experience. I want to say this since I'm on live. I'm only, once I get 12 members, and the Lisa Lux experience, I'm shutting it down. So if you want to become a part of the Lisa Lux experience, you better get in there. You better get in there because I'm about to I'm about to make start making some more changes. So get in the Lisa Lux experience before it gets shut down. Well, not really shut down, but I'm only gonna take so many at one time. I'll say it like that. So once once I get to 12, I'm all it's gonna only be when I have an opening. So, yeah. Um, what else I got to tell y'all? The website is updated. I was out of stock on some products. I know the coconut milk was out of stock and um, the organic complex, but I have restocked that on the website. So that's up there. If you've seen it, that was sold out. And, um, yeah. I think that's all. I think that's all. But I want to thank Acacia for being here tonight. I want to thank Tracy Ann for being here tonight. Actually, everybody here on this live stream who um, came and increased my watch hours tonight. I really do appreciate that. Tracy Ann said, I just talked to my daughter through washing my granddaughter's hair in twists. The twists are really growing her hair into a pretty curl pattern. And it stays moisturized. Come on, Tracy Ann. Come on. She getting them grandbabies head together. You hear me? She said, I just bought some more silk scrunchies myself. Good job. See, Tracy Ann over there getting it together. So, yeah. June calendar is open. The Lisa Lux experience is open for clients. And, um, yeah. And if you haven't subscribed to my email list, make sure you subscribe to my email list, okay? So you can stay abreast on what's happening. And if you don't see an appointment time that works for you, you can text the 855 number in my description box. It's a text blast and it will alert you if I get cancellations. OK, so, yeah, thank you all so much for being here tonight. I'm going to try to see if I can go live every day this week. <laughs> And I'm saying it out loud because maybe I need that accountability because I, I really want to make my watch hours soon. So maybe I need to say that out loud. So y'all give me some topics that y'all want me to talk about this week or anything. So I'm about to go for my walk. And I appreciate y'all y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all in another live stream. Bye. Now, Coach Sheena, I can't do my finger because I'm on my laptop. But I'm going to do my finger just for you. 
Y'all have a good night.